For those of you that are past presidents, you actually have five more years of duty. And this is the last committee that I'm chairing as uh, your duties of being president is the Distinguished Service Award. So it's uh, this year, it's a, the first award for the Dr. Arthur for the Humanitarian Award. And our recipient this year is Dr. Hardy Levy. Uh, Dr. Levy practices in Frederick, Maryland, and has spent his entire dental career treating children, handicapped patients, dental phobics, the medically compromised, and many other of the most difficult patients our society has to offer. He has earned mastership and four lifelong learning service recognitions in the AGD, along with eight fellowships and four diplomat certifications. He has offered numerous seminars and workshops all over the country, and many right here in our state of Maryland and for the MSDA as well. He has devoted his career to serving special need patients and received the 1986 AGD Humanitarian Award and the ADA Access to Care Award. Dr. Levy, thank you, and please accept MSDA's first Arthur Fridley PDS Humanitarian Award. Fear and finances are the dental patient's F words. These are two of the major barriers to access to dental care. One in three people in the state of Maryland did not visit any of your offices last year. One in three. And I know why. There are two reasons for it. Fear and finances. Case in point, Dion is a 35-year-old white male. He is wheelchair-bound. He is obese. He already lost his right foot due to insulin-dependent diabetes, plus the fact that he's got bad lungs, renal failure, and bad heart. First presented to my office through Donated Dental Services, thank you, Lillian, with this mouth. He said he's afraid of needles, and he had no money for dental care. <coughs> Presents to our office, we agreed to take him to the operating room on the nasal intubation. We removed all of the teeth, we eliminated the bacteremia, and saved his other foot from being amputated. A few weeks later, he came to my office looking like this. No bacteremia, no chance of any further devastation from the bacteremia to the rest of his body. A few weeks later, the gums have healed, we make him a nice set of dentures in my office. If you notice, since he's over 400 pounds and he cannot get out of his wheelchair, you can stay in his wheelchair as he makes his dentures. So in a matter of weeks, he went from total devastation to complete rehabilitation. Marguerite was a 102-year young lady in hospice, and one of the few pleasures she has left in life is eating. She complained to the physicians attending her that she couldn't eat, they didn't understand why, Physicians are highly skilled. Physicians are great at looking through the mouth, not in the mouth. They need a physician of the mouth, that's called a dentist, to go in and notice what's going on up there. Her bridge is dangling. The wonder she cannot eat. We examine her bedside, we take out the bridge, and she can resume her normal functions of eating and one of the few joys she has left. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, Linda was age 64, was in the hospital for about eight days, dying of septicemia, and nobody could figure out why. One of the physicians noticed a slight bump, labial to tooth number nine. Called in the dentist. I examined her. 
Examine her bedside. Take x-rays bedside. Decide that the little bump may be a source of her bacteremia, septicemia. Take her down to the operating room. Drain that pus. Next morning she went home healthy. Many children avoid, uh, do not go to the dental office for fear and finances. Give Kids a Smile is a wonderful program that we're happy to participate in. This along with the Donated Dental Services Program, Religious Coalition, Community Action, Mission of Mercy and the Maryland Foundation, and all these other programs is what allows us to accommodate these patients. If each of us, call to action, if each of our, one of us sets aside 8% of our practice to treat low income, no fee or low fee patients, we can effectively eliminate finances as a barrier to access to dental care. Let's do what teachers tell us to do. Take the F's and bring them up to an A. Access for all. I thank you kindly.